to a great start, we see. <laughs> okay. Um hello everyone. Uh ignore the yeah ignore me disconnecting <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> like it was so funny like as soon as I clicked start streaming. I see I see the green light up and then it immediately goes red and I'm like oh god it's gonna be a fun day <laughs> uh, um yeah okay so we should get back to Ace Attorney when stream died <laughs> oh my wi-fi seems to be very very unstable recently I'm not really sure why it was like to the point where like, I couldn't load google <laughs> Ah yes, you have found the new emotes. <laughs> yes, I have new emotes now. <gasps> it's it's cute, isn't it? <laughs> it's the raid one. That's the main one that I've added. I'm waiting for like a cheer one, which is going to be animated, and a a waving one. Yeah. But um, this will take a while since there is need to be animated. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I also wanted to say like um I'm going to be on camp from Friday to Sunday this week so there'll be no stream during that time I mean like I can't exactly uh bring my <laughs> bring my PC to camp <laughs> so yeah there'll be no there'll be no stream during that time if you guys can understand yes yes um yeah start yeah, it loaded properly. <laughs> ah, maybe bad connection there. <laughs> Bro, wait, they don't have Wi Fi there. Yeah, okay. there's no Wi Fi. I <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, sadly. Okay, um, we shall wait a minute. Not the first tab. Okay, <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, um. Mrs. Old Bag no longer rambles, but I can only pray, I guess. <laughs> okay, so blah blah blah. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. What am I up to? Oh, oh, we'll talk you about when she got arrested, kind of. Okay, I guess that will rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this with a snapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. A slight or insult? A slight insult? Well, okay. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Oh wait, I forgot. Um... <laughs> I forgot to turn on... To turn on the death toll here. <laughs> Eek. Nothing happened. I'm, I'm not forgetful. I'm not clumsy. Okay, continue. <laughs> Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> this lady's too much. Okay. Um. Well, if she has nothing to say, then we might as well move, right? Where should we go? I don't remember where we've been. <laughs> it's been a while. Right here. Oh. Oh. Mile. Hey, hey, wait. I bet he came in through that drain. Hey, um, kitty -o. what's your name, Spark? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. H huh? But, but you, you are a kid. What a rude little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, H hippie fashion chick. <laughs> <laughs> Hippie fashion? N -n -n I think I'm being mocked. You got to hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackings. Call me Kitty O again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil door. Um, still them, right? The Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil door? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha 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 ha. You can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line said by the Inner Keeper in episode 8? Ha, <laughs> easy. Like some fries or that? 
<laughs> Not bad, Kirio. Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> we have two kids here, it seems. <laughs> Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... he... Hmm? I guess the murderer tried silencing us too, huh? <laughs> I guess so. I say hello. He... always... The steel samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? what? But... but no way am I telling you losers. What? what? Wait. Let me go. Oh? He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Empty bottle slipped into pocket. It reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Um... Can we examine anything? Mmm... It was so weird, stream died and I was left there with nothing. Oh... Are you talking about like earlier today? Like when it started? If you're talking about when we started then um... Yeah, I... It, it died as soon as I opened it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at the sleeping pulse. Mm hmm hmm uh, hmm. 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 Back. Why would we have sleeping pills? Hmm? Maybe you need to be baptized more? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't need to be baptized. What? <gasps> Hydrate? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Ah. Uh, wait. Let's get the water. Um. Two. Okay. Okay. Two hydrates. Wait, What do you mean, oh, no, you're saving me? Are you really? Are you really baptizing me instead of drowning me? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Where's that old window bag? Out of her to leave her post. H hey. Nick, that was her. S stop, whippersnapper. Y yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch. Uh oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. <laughs> um, okay. You still have some spare water if I need it? No! <laughs> I do not need that 1.5 litre bottle you gave me last time. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh. This is it, Nick. The trailer key. Hmm? If you've seen how they baptized the baby, you wonder how we intend to baptize you. Baptize the baby. Don't they like throw the baby in the water or something? I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> oh, we have the trailer key. The key to the trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Trailer key slipped into pocket. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to the... You have no choice in this? Why? Why? Why do you say that I have no choice in this? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> Slides. Let's go in here. Um, options. Oh, wait. Examines. Go inside. I don't know if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opens. Yeah. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, uh, not that eager. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Now we'll really see what a sea angel looks like. What do you mean? I'm a normal angel, not a sea angel. <laughs> Ooh! Eek! S 
someone's in here. Names? Uh, our names? Um, where WP Zoe is, and um, I see. Uh, and who might you. Uh. D. Vask? What? How do you say this? <laughs> D. Vask? Eh? How do you. Eh? See, angels are pretty cool. <laughs> I'm a normal angel, okay? Isn't it just D. Vask? But, but that would have no Z. D. 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 Vask. I, I apologize for butchering your name, but I will call you Divask. Okay. <laughs> the producer. Divask. She's quite beautiful. This? This is beautiful? Question mark? Okay. <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't judge you, Phoenix. Angel Kiri needs to return to the sea. No, I return to the heavens. What do you mean? Me? <laughs> okay. Oh, um, wait, let's get to her. The day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vask? Script. I excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A, a script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Only beauty you see is Kay. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. <laughs> okay. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Ms. Vask? It's on TV, every week. That's all I have to say about that. N Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. Uh, the director? About the director. Sal Manella, was it? What er, exactly is, is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick. Are, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manila, give him this. Wh why do we have to do your errands? I I don't think I like her. Sniff? <gasps> mm, Divask sounds like a European name. Possibly French. I... I... Probably? I don't know. I don't know enough French to know. The only thing I can say in French is, uh, Je ne parle français. <laughs> Je ne parle français. It means I can't speak French. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright. We'll have- we'll give it to him if we see him. Basque's memo. Added to the court record. Memories, bring me the script for episode 13. Okay. Um... But you're an angel, are you fake? Is all that art in France of angels for nothing? What do you mean? I'm, I'm an angel, but that's because I'm from heaven, not from France. Why would I be from France? Well, let's give him the memory, right? Oh wait, wrong place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... Okay. Um, move outside. You move to main gates, and then the subs is so annoying. <laughs> move to employee area. Oh, we'll just start. Just start? Yeah, I just started. Kind of. I'm like halfway through the case, kind of. Move dressing room. He's in here. Yeah, here you go. Um, present him with the memo. Give him the memo. Here. I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13? Episode 13. Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh-oh. So uh-oh. 
Ah, uh, okay. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Um. Well, it's not useful, right? Well, we've already done this. Okay. Where are we going now? So, sus. <laughs> Kind of sus, yes. That's pretty sus and very cough naughty. <laughs> well, where would he have been? Been to the main gate, we've been to the trailer, we've been to Studio 2. Maybe check Studio 1 or go to his cough, examine his cough. <laughs> what? That is okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, let's go to Studio 1. Probably here. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need to and get out of here quick, Nick. Well, this is the script. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director? Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Hmm? Under the bed, no, you meant? What? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd leave it somewhere? He left it somewhere. Ah! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Script placed in pocket. Hmm? So you all don't think wrongly? Confusion? <laughs> I just, I'm just doing the things we need. Okay, now I need to give the script back to Devask, right? Um. Okay. There it is. There, there is it. There, huh? <laughs> I have, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> huh? Nani? <laughs> okay. Um. Let's move into the trailer and give, give her the script. Present. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Script handed to Devask. Imagine script was literally kill the evil magistrate and then the end. What? No, didn't they have like a whole action scene and stuff? I don't know. Um, has to be more detailed than that. And that's what I know. Okay. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyways? And do you even know who we are? Powers of lawyers? Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, no, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. It impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The, the path? Um, uh, the path? The blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey. The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right. That. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving their head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Cap, cap, what? Capus? What? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. That's a monkey? Yeah, it's okay. I was shocked as well. I'm like, that's a monkey? <laughs> Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? what? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. Wait, she's possibly Italian? Oh, I see. Interesting. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd co corroborate my story. But, but wait, what if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. The time of death. Very well. Come. 
That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, ook, ook. Always at the ooking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. Okay. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Well, let's go back, right? Main gate. Okay. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Hapishk is Italian, so she may be French Italian. I like how I'm trying to analyze is if Vasque is European. <laughs> well, let me know when you find out, okay? I'm curious now. <laughs> Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. M Mia, it's you. What took you so long? Speak English? <laughs> I am speaking English. <laughs> Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. <laughs> indeed. Indeed, we are. I'd say so. What do you mean, we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no, but no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Nolly means Sergio Cameron. It is English. <laughs> Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, well, let's... Well, moving back, I guess. Back. <clears throat> oh. Huff, puff, huff, puff, huff, puff, huff, huff, puff, huff, puff, huff, puff, huff. What, what's wrong? Huff. Puff, 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 woof, with her snapper. She's been chasing that boy this whole time. Huff, puff, when, when I catch him, I huff. <laughs> Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. Huff, puff, I got a hostage now with a snapper. A, a hostage? Um, uh, the hostage. What's this about a hostage? Huff, huff. When that boy was running away, he dropped this. And ran, huff huff. He'll come back, huff huff. For this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, may I? No. I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade, hmm... What do we have? I wonder... Um... Do we have anything to trade? Um... Mm. Will she even want this? Well, she doesn't want the head. She probably doesn't want this. Or this. Oh, wait. She's a fan of... You found out that she's Spanish? 
Yeah, but then I have all at one point or related because of romance, so that's probably why you got it mixed up. Oh, I see, I see, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. What does she want? She does not want this. She does not want this. She's a big fan of Jack. Um. The only thing worth giving her is this. Right? A murder site? Probably? Okay. <clears throat> Let's present it to her. Hey, that huff. That's a card. Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. Huff puff. I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He, he died. I was his, his fan. Yes. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldback? Studio One isn't my turf. Huff huff. You'll let me borrow. Borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Lend her the card key. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldback. Card key lent to Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having depths to know what snap is. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Steel samurai card added to the court record. Oh, trading cards. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and make a trade. It's trading time. Hey. Hey you, wait, wait a second. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name is Cody Hackings. I think he ran into the dressing room. Okay, let's go to the dressing room. <clears throat> He sure he's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she? Hey there. Would you mind helping us out? Please? I I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fei. Nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not sure I'm, I'm not so sure I'm qualified. <laughs> Give him the card first, I guess. Okay. Cody, this looks familiar? Hey, my you are. You, you are, huh? Oh, ultra rare card. <gasps> you are, you know? Ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect. Effect exhibited the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Mad for a grown up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> well, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? That's not physics. <laughs> that, was, that was economics, Phoenix. Phoenix. You sure are dumb. <laughs> Are you? Okay. Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? what? After I went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Hmm. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. <laughs> hmm? For a kid who speaks about economics, he doesn't have the mannerisms to make anyone care. Yep, you roasted him. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Um, math for a grown up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? <gasps> premium rare. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't... Um, I don't have the card. We have to find a premium rare card. Can I even find that? Um, 
Okay, there's nothing here. Keep moving. <laughs> Will I even find a premium rare card? Please. Please. Well, I can't go into Studio One because... Yeah. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, nothing here. Keep moving. Okay, yes. Oh? <clears throat> oh, it's Penny. Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes. The um girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. I okay, whatever you say. Talk to her. The fanboy. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it there. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast, I thought she'd collapse. <laughs> of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Mr. Hammer. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes. It's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean, you don't know about Hammer? No? What? I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. You guessed French because you see D in it... In... D it in names such as French House of... Barbon such as... Alfonso, Jamil... Mars Marcelino, Manuel, Victor, Maria de Borboni, Dampier. Oh, oh, oh. How's our pronunciation? <laughs> That's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what happened? Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Um, um, what would I do now? Eh, give her something. Do you know anything about this? Oh, hey, that's a Steel Summer trading card. Oh, she does know. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. Uh, a complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. <laughs> please, I beg you. Please trade with me. <laughs> Tr trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me, huh? Yes, it's a good deal for you, ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? <laughs> what, what's everyone getting so excited about? We trade here. <laughs> what do you mean, objection? <laughs> okay. Really? Th thanks. Then this is for you. URP card added to the correct word. Wow. <gasps> Yahoo! <gasps> and there she goes. <laughs> Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. You need to go and we'll come back in 15 minutes or so. Okay, I'll see you in 50 minutes or so, Nautilus. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, go back and give him the ultra rare card. Let's go! Ultra premium, sorry. Ultra premium rare card. <laughs> okay. Keep moving. Oh, what? This is a trick. <laughs> this is such a trick. Oh my. Wolf. Dressing room. Okay. Give you half dish. See this card? Yeah, so wait, that's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, I've never seen him so eager. <laughs> right, okay. How about a trade? You're on. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, he's so cute when he smiles. <laughs> European kingdoms are weird and confusing. That's true. So I don't learn about them. <laughs> History, who cares about history anyway? 
I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cars. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Your RP card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can ha have him take the stand tomorrow. Okay. Let's talk. Steel Samurai. So you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. Ah. Hmm? Stop with this histography. You mean history? <laughs> uh, I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his action actions and his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. <laughs> you like him too, don't ya? Uh, oh me? Y yeah, I um love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Um, his fighting skills, I think. Got to think of something. I like it when he uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, yeah, what's up? The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Grey Schooler is awesome. Awesome! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Check this out, it's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicly stunts where they beat each other off in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands a final blow. What's that? I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Who cares about history, Kiri? I'll be waiting for the next 20 years. <laughs> Who cares about history? I don't want to learn history. It's not important to me. <laughs> hey, you want this? You can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. After glory received. Okay. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. <laughs> uh, hello Mina, I'm here just to say hi. You gotta do some stuff here because your other family members are here. Have a good stream, Kiri. Ah, thank you, thank you. I'll see you next stream, perhaps, Jake. Bye-bye. Huh? Baby Jake. <laughs> hey, yo. Which one is more important, history or, ge or geography? Mm, personally, I find geography more important. It's just because like, if you travel to places or if someone's talking about like, Hey, I visited this country, blah, 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 whatever. Then you'll be like, oh yes, that country, kind of thing. Like, history, you don't really think about. <laughs> okay. Hydrate before you leave down, okay. <laughs> I guess I will fulfill- I will fulfill your wishes. Oh god. Hi Kiri. Oh, hello Serene. Hello Serene. Okay, I'm just- I'm just all. Just talking to chat for a bit. Uh, well, you know history and geography stuff for the wrong reasons? Cough military stuff. Cough. Oh? Were you in the military before? Hi Dragon. I just closed my bottle. Okay, sad. Um, oh god. I hear loud noises. Hey. Okay, okay. Cough military stuff. Cough is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't really know anyone who's been in the military. Well, I have to been forced to go to the military. Um, so I don't know anything about it, actually. Nolly knows a bunch of it. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, we go back. <clears throat> what happened? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice. You have to help us fight for great justice too. 
Oh, especially cough, kidnap, Kiri plan. What? You guys are gonna do what? <laughs> the first time I've heard of this. Oh, <laughs> cough. <laughs> Nolly is going to dinner. Okay. Have a great dinner. No, Kiri, I studied the military, but I'm planning to join later. I've only got one year of high school to finish first. Oh, I see. I see. Well, have fun and good luck in your endeavors. <laughs> I, I swear, I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. What you saw. <clears throat> C Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost there. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that, what is it, Cody? The, the steel samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear. Just like always, one shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Uh, I'm right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Hmm? Cough, we all got COVID for some reason. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what do you mean I know, right? Don't, <laughs> don't agree with him, eh? <laughs> Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection, starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No. I ain't going. Wah! Oh no, that didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, um, hmm. I, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come to the trial tomorrow. Please, I need you there. Hm? Yes, COVID me so I can go to heaven only to get rejected. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I can reject you now. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yes, I believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Yeah. Oh? 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 Do we continue? Bum 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 Save Yeah 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 <laughs> Ah <clears throat> Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh oh Oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powell is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. So Kiri, he just guaranteed my trip to hell. Ooh. What? Huh? What do you mean? I'm confused. Okay. Something overlooked. We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that. Or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. It's not going to be easy indeed. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. <clears throat> Let's go. 
court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgewa. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to share evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. You just said you'll reject me from going to heaven? Yeah, because I want you to live. <laughs> Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it would be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. You know, this really bothers me because this name, this name keeps on reminding me of Salmonella. Like Salmonella, you know, like the, the food poisoning, Salmonella. <laughs> That's really, what do I read? This is Sal Manella. Salmonella. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that director. <clears throat> Will the witness state his name or profession? How rude can Jill get? Jill don't know me? I'm the director. I make the steel samurai. Noom Riffel. Sal Manella. I'm a director. Television. Wow, way to bully someone's name. No, 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 no. I'm just not a bully. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, yeah, Global Studios on the day of the murder. Y yes, your honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the evidence of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. Oh, what? If Palace is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on the day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Alright. Witness testimony. Okay. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing um an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Mm hmm. The time of Mr. Hammond's death was 2.30pm. And according to your testimony, you were, in a you were in a meeting at the time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. The day of the murder. Okay. Studios, okay. Okay. Um. Wait a second. From what I remember, there were plates outside studio two. It's okay. We pressed this. Pretty sure they will play tough size too. too. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That that must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Mel. Hmm? Well, what do you want? Sweats. When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Oof! No, uh, um, uh, hehe, <laughs> good, good call. I, er, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. Uh, tea bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean the system went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect it as much. <laughs> so when exactly did you eat it? We took one mate one break during that meeting. I uh wolfed it down then, draw. A mental image I'll carry with me to my grave. <laughs> Wait a minute. Second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Um. Well, this one. You didn't take a single break. Uh. Well. Yeah. Not one. 
Not a one sweats. Hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait, wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Always. Wait a second. Mr. Mella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the bone that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops. Rofel. Well? Um... Mr. Mella, what's this all about? But, well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. Erk. Ha, ha, ha. Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. Okay. Yeah, we took a break, but it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio 1, lol. Hmm? Press harder, Kiri. Why is the trial getting weirder and weirder? It is getting quite weird. I'm, I'm getting a bit, bit, I'm getting a bit confused. That's just enough. That's only just enough time to eat a T-point steak, if you ask me. Hmm... Be a mouse. <laughs> what? Okay. Hello. Uh, J L E one seventeen. Hello. 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 I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. <laughs> the judge is giving us their opinion. <laughs> Very well. You may begin the cross examination. Um. Hmm. The break. We took a break. Hold it. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. Oh? 2.30. That's the time of death. So you could have gone to Studio 1, killed Hammer and came back. Come back. I think it's possible. Time-wise. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio 1. Ask a bit more. Why is that? Objection. How have we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio 1. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you are suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm worried. Hold up. Just in case. It's impossible? I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Haha. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on the thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. Yes, it was blocked. The fall of Miss Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. Barred the way. At around 2.30, a strong gust of wind, I mean, around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Ah, it is actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. <laughs> and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? what? It's over? I'm confused too, what's happening? 
Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he's the one who did it. Ah, more of Ace Ride Phoenix Attorney. What? <laughs> Hello, Rocky Marvel. Hello. <laughs> if we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness? Oh, that laugh? What about that laugh? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Was it Cody? Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. I think you just won my sympathy. I did? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Okay. Oh, yeah. Time to think. Okay. Okay. Humma humma. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? You have me! <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Phoenix grow a backbone. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? I, I kind it kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us. And be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai hero to children everywhere, after all. You're supposed to be a protagonist. THE protagonist. I know. <laughs> I feel like Mia is like the protagonist and stuff. I... You... Thanks, Sniff Sniff. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grey schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense may cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel reasoning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. <laughs> However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackings to the stand. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, he's so cute. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. <laughs> oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. <laughs> One of those donut crates should do. <laughs> uh, Edgeworth, you're the last person who's supposed to sass me up. <laughs> You were the chosen one. You were meant to destroy them, not join them. Would be very appropriate here. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh yes, he's on the box now. Okay. Hello. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? It's over, Phoenix. I have the high ground. <laughs> witness? What? Just because you're grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Riff. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackings. I'm in second grade. I, I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. <laughs> you underestimate my power. <laughs> okay. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, or I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> you were present, or you were at Global Studios on the day of the incident? 
You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What pops? You want me to tell you and Grams with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer being a gentleman myself. A very long day. <laughs> nice one, kid. <laughs> Ayo. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Rift. But my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had a bar you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> oh god, rip Edward. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court note record, okay? Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal. Just once. I found a map on the internet. I went to the studios that day. I went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the, stu there was the steel samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Wait a second. Hmm. Very well. The defense may be crin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. <gasps> Hello, Carnivocal. Thank you for the sub. Hey, y'all, big brain. How you doing? <laughs> My head hurt. I was so confused. This case is really confusing. It's like, I thought it would be a lot more simple, but it's really, really convoluted and I'm just confused. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just remembering everything and like trying to find, um, stuff. Huh? This is one of the easier cases, by the way. Really? <laughs> I'm so confused already. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, kind of a cool. Why do you sound familiar? <laughs> okay, you guys figure it out. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. <laughs> You'll get there eventually? Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, I already found a contradiction when he said it. Let me find it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <clears throat> um. This one. Haha, <laughs> Cody. What you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? -huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? <laughs> Judges old. <laughs> He's old again. <laughs> He's, a <laughs> He's a boomer. <laughs> he doesn't know what the digital camera is. <laughs> uh, you hang out in Nyko, Lily, and Pearl streams, so probably. <laughs> I see. 
That laugh is making me laugh. It's not even funny. And I'm laughing. <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> even my... <laughs> Does he look young? No. He's very old. <laughs> He's bold. <laughs> that will probably get you in contempt of court. It's okay. It's okay. It's not important. I'm, I'm, I'm at home. I'm streaming. It's fine. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I've calmed down. It, it's um, a, a digital camera, Your Honor. And your curious broken baptism is your cure. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, three. Okay, give me a second. Four? Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Wow, drinking ASMR. Wait, can you actually hear that? Can you hear me drinking? I actually... Wait, what? Can you hear me drinking? Oh. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm, I'm not looking at the... Um, at the sound thing. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> okay. It's um a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. A <laughs> new? You hear big gulps? Yeah, you remember like that time when you complain about like not being able to hear me? Drink? Rocks? Was that you? <laughs> uh, yes we can hear so it means we know you are drinking based on our baptism routines. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Give me a second. Ayo! Ayo! Oh, maybe because my mic is closer today. Maybe that's why. I don't know if you heard that. That was a less of a gulp. Because so, this bottle's more full. You don't think so? But I but I drink water. I'm not redoing that. I'm gonna have to run to the toilet. <laughs> uh this way, I'm gonna have to run to the toilet soon. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I, I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Oh, I'm sad! He's crying. <clears throat> Objection, Mr. Wright. How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, sir. <laughs> I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean? Or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? But what? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? What? Well, why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about you were so what you were so busy watching. Code hacker? You just got it? You're so mad? Ah. <laughs> uh, wait, what, what Nelly have missed? Oh, just a bit of court stuff. <clears throat> okay. What you saw? Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai. He goes for the bad guy. Wang! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. Um, hmm. Ah, is that all? Oh, well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Hmm. Hmm. The camera. Action. Okay. Stop moving. Okay. We need to ask about. The ASMR drinking? 
Oh, I was just taking big gulps of water. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? <clears throat> why wasn't the bad guy moving? M well, because the steel samurai brought him to justice. And how did he do that? And how exactly did he do that? H how did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch. Samurai chop. Samurai slap. S something like that. He's still being vague about this. <clears throat> what? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Press him harder. Hmm? One state. I can't imagine this cutie is in the drunk state. <gasps> I, don't, I don't drink. I actually don't drink, so... I don't get drunk, obviously. <laughs> okay. Cody. What, what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that, you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I hit the nail on the head. She drank the holy water. <laughs> Indeed, I guess. Y yeah? So, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Mm, Phoenix Wright does it again. <laughs> Cough the holy order again. <laughs> Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. Riff. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the steel samurais fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, er, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, you answer. Um, um, this court is so confusing. It is confusing. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Um... Mm, I don't know her. <laughs> I don't know her. Um... Sorry, I'm safe. <laughs> <clears throat> um, why couldn't he watch? Um, hmm, he couldn't watch, he was watching something else. Sure, I don't have evidence. I don't think I have evidence. Let me see. <clears> hmm. <throat> Watching something else? He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably? Something else? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai fight? What do you claim he was looking at? <clears throat> uh, oof. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. Yeah, yes, sorry, your honor. Oh no! Oh no, wait, no swearing, no swearing, thank you. Do you have another explanation for this? We have assertioned that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Um. Mm. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Hmm? Apparently we're basing everything off kids' testimonies. <laughs> Take that. Here's my proof. What's, this? What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with his operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. 
why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was hot looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey. Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You gotta think for picking on little kids. Repressing, not picking. <laughs> mm hmm. Sharing evidence, he captures every fight screen, right? Or the book? Yeah, probably, yeah. If courts had common sense, it would have been solved already. <laughs> Real quick, judge. What's the ca what's the camera? <laughs> oh god, okay. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. <clears throat> Smart of you to realize there was no way he would just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? Cody got objection. Hello, hello. <laughs> There's only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? <clears throat> yeah. Well, Phoenix. I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackings testify once more. Very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the flight fight. Uh um. Welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> Bully <laughs> No photo? Oh she's crying, he's crying. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The steel samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held out my camera to take a picture. But the lenses wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. <clears throat> Welcome to Japanophobia. <laughs> to be fair, the whole world. <laughs> like, pressure him harder, you need to see more tears. Or, um, <clears throat> we shall see. Kiri the bully? What? No? No? No, it's not me. It's not me. Homo homo. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Is Kiri becoming a fallen angel? No. <laughs> mm. Mm. Kiri, my boy, little boy, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Kiri, your wings are slowly getting grayer. No. 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 They are not. They are still white and pure. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, is it? Huh? The hell? Samurai ran away? I'm confused. Yeah. Uh... Why is he stuttering? <laughs> That's all? N yeah, I, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once. I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one. Press him hard. Did I stutter? <laughs> nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. <clears throat> Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackings. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey. And the bullying continues. <laughs> oh no. B bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackings. It's one of my powers. Well, wow. This feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. Mm, I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hmm... How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Huh? <laughs> I'm suddenly alive again. Okay, hello. <laughs> I'm back. It was just a temporary uh, a Wi-Fi death. <clears throat> Agreed 100% or no? F, you really are unique. Oh Tell me when I'm back. <laughs> I should be back there. Let me know when you guys can see me again. Back? Okay, nice. 
Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Um. Hmm. 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 When Kiri the bully get bullied by the Wi-Fi? No. No. <laughs> Hmm. The murderer is trying to end the case by killing us. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> this one. Has to be this. <gasps> Objection! <gasps> Pre wi Fi, press harder. <laughs> Cody. What, what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow with something bad. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. <gasps> the, it means we're getting close to the truth. The kid didn't call in. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I always take a picture when the steel samurai has the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Aha! Aha, Cody. Did you really get a picture of the steel samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. I conclude Kiri is the murderer, that's why she a bully. No? No, I am not. How could you? <laughs> Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Album? Ah! Mr. Wright. What exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackings. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this odd, your honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an, an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, your honor. Don't lie to me, Kiri. I'm talking. I'm taking you to the high court. You can try. I'll prove myself innocent. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Me, Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Hmm, damn right. It means you're going to hell. What is happening? <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. <gasps> I told you her wings were getting grey. No? No? Oh god, death. Okay. Bye! <gasps> <laughs> ah. 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 Oh! Oh, it wasn't dead for long enough for it to die. <laughs> Who's the defense for Kiri? No one? Okay, guilty? What do you mean? I am my own defense. I am my own defense. <laughs> Ayo. Okay. This tea is very good. What? <laughs> no, no. Defend me, rocks. Defend me. What do you mean? Defend me. For bullying the kid and the judge? No? Are we sure Kiri isn't getting old and becoming grey? I'm not old, I'm young. I'm young. <sighs> Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? They... I'm fairly certain angels don't get old, they do go full in there. I don't know. Well, there's no way, he didn't win, right? I can think of only one reason, your honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. Kiri's halo must have faded away. Cough. No, it's still here. It's still shining. Shining, shining. Bling, bling. <laughs> no, 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 no way. No. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone. Ever. 
Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. <clears throat> However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit it, what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. <clears throat> he couldn't handle the truth. <clears throat> order. I'll have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? But what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... 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 <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. The, the Steel Samurai f fell down. Then, then he didn't move. <laughs> oh, order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The steel samurai was the murderer, was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the steel samurai was the one who fell. Hmm? Finally, Kiri bullied the kid to his tears. No! No! <laughs> no! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Uh, the Steel Samurai was the victim. Mm, has to be. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. Mocking the kid's bully? No, I'm not. I'm not. In other words, the Steel Samurai was the killer. Was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hamill was the Steel Samurai. <clears throat> order, order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying... The man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But but wait, had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. See, curious lie, tell us the truth. I am not lying. How could you? But remember what Miss Orbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio 1. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Kiri, what? What? Why, why are you looking at me like that? Don't look at me like that, no. But why would this victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Hmm? Hello, Mirai. Yes, hello, hello. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Cough, cough. We demand the truth. Cough, cough. What do you mean? <laughs> I want to believe in you, Kiri, so please refute me, Ultimate Angel. <laughs> Wait, wrong game? What? <laughs> what game is that? Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Order, order. <laughs> data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. What? what? Show us. Quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. Mia's expression, though. Sniff. Here. This is it. 
The only way to save Angel Kiri is to baptize the angel with the Pacific Ocean. What? <laughs> no. <clears throat> well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Hmm? Oh god, maybe we just wait for Epiphany Frosts? What? <laughs> Frost? <laughs> Frost? Kashma? <laughs> well, what? Y your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? So certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. There is? Find the inconsistency in the photo. Oh! Is this right, the two? Mia sounds like she is the expert. She is, though. <laughs> She's the one on the scene. Wait. It is the truth, right? Right? Take that! Your honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, your honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but, but. That's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? He's so dumb. Okay, anyways. Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio 1. However, what do we what do we see at this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Here. Stop bullying everyone, Kerry. I am not. <laughs> Nothing's better than the judge. Here, I see you too. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the number took place in Studio 2. Um... <clears throat> oh, the trailer is there. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. Devask were outside, eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes I suppose that would be the case. Remember Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime. Studio 2. A order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that security guard, uh, the person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover the details of his own murder? W well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole this costume. Um. Uh... 
I have proved. You do? You do, Mr. Right? I do? <laughs> now that there's a surprise, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. This one, right? Take that. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the play area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. So, uh, how's your day, everyone? Uh, it's been alright so far, yeah. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Sleepy day? Oh yes, I did sleep a lot as well. <laughs> Your Honor, I have an idea. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should be show up on this bottle. <laughs> hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. Yeah. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Freddie Hacking's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very pre differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Ms. Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Oh, so who killed him and why? Find the answers for me to by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. <laughs> it is indeed. Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. You're doing okay? Just working on another angle of your drawing? Okay, pretty good. Nice. Very well. Court is adjourned. Does that mean we have another day of investigation? Of running around everywhere? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I see. Oof. That was a close one. We were saved by her, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. M me too. But really? You both seemed so, so confident. Ha. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a, a career in acting. <laughs> I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. <laughs> Me too. Dead, dead, dead. Haha, <laughs> of course we're kidding. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Lamal imagined trying to be protagonist and then get defeated by a guy who had his foot in shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Thanks, Sniff. Oh my god, Wolverine. <laughs> He's not Wolverine. <laughs> Sabretooth. Wait. Oh, my, my, my thing is lagging. Sif. Yeah, Sif. <laughs> Hello, Frost. <laughs> okay. Investigation time. Let's do Okay. That was a close one. Huh? Meal? Really? Too bad. I'm oh, sorry. I missed it. Hmm? M Maya! Tyrannosaurus. Oh, wait. Wrong one. <laughs> you legit sat here for 20 minutes. I see. So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Thinking it's still laggy. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> okay. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow! Good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system. Tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. 
They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, hello. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. <sighs> Initial try, aka game story tool to not make this to not make this game ages long. <laughs> this game is already ages long, honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks. Um, can you not look like you're about to burst into tears? <laughs> wow, Nick, you must have really worried them in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. Ha ha ha. I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Uh, talk to him. Could you tell me more about Miss Vask? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A, a genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing Forget it. I, I've only heard rumors anyhow. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. But something in his work caught Vask's eye. She brought the steel samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> Roast <the> <clears throat> I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vask came to Global. Five years ago? I see. Very interesting, unbunked. Okay, where do we go now? Oh, hello. What? The old windbag sure is quiet today. <laughs> Oh, you know, this place is really peaceful like this. What is wrong with her? Nick? I think her guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die. <laughs> Phew, she's alive. <laughs> um, I was wondering about Devask, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her, but she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me asking about her, don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vask tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Oh, whoa? Muscle kissed? <laughs> huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? <laughs> uh, no, 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 it doesn't, Maya. <laughs> oh, well? About Mr. Hammer. Er, I heard about what you said today. Cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer. <gasps> you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Whoa, Maso just detected. Call the police on this. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> Are you? Calling him a criminal. A thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. 
You listen to me, weapon snapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Powers' costumes so he could sneak by me? He would never stop stoop so low. It's impossible. <laughs> Mirai I die because Kiri cuteness? Did I even do anything cute? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I haven't done anything cute intentionally yet. <laughs> okay. So... Okay, um, just move, keep moving. It's just find people to talk to. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. <laughs> you can come see them film later. Hmm? Pat, pat, we all die because of her. Hey, what? What? You're always cute, Kiri, and are so beautiful, you can understand how they would die. <laughs> What? Eh? <laughs> okay. One way or another? I'm confused. But okay. <laughs> I just take it as a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, no, no. No touchy. Eek. No touchy? No touchy? Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. D-didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. <gasps> I, I suppose it's the actor in me. Hmm? Ray. You die like idiot again, Mirai? Huh? Who's Ray? Huh? Dramatic indeed. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Hmm. Let's talk to him, right? So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to the sleeping pill, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. <clears throat> okay. Well, testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like a steak plate added to the court record. Okay. Mm. Mira, haha, <laughs> don't care about me and Ray. We just mira another personality. Ah, okay, okay, I see. <gasps> How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshi? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Eh? How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Ed Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. Eh. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow. The fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints, on the bottle. So that means. Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than him, the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle added to the court record. Okay. Um, let's just, go, just visit every single room. Why not? Oh, hello. Hello, Penny. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent. 
Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But this week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No. Oh no. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do it? something like that? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true then. The, the rumor? Yeah. Miss Vask, that producer, has some hold on a hammer. She has some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. I don't know how Mia's surprised, considering... Evil Magistrate is dead. <laughs> it hurts Maya, but yeah. <laughs> some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. Oopsie, you're blind, okay? After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? Okay, the last episode. Well, what do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I heard that Globo Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? what? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The studio big leagues don't want to steal somewhere around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, do you understand? But how can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the steel samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No. That can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. N Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. 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 Say that. And this is? A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show wouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Mm-hmm, okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Okay, five years ago... Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. S someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vask, managed to hush her up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vask asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know? Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Okay. Let's go ask her then. Let's go. Let's go. Move, move. Move, move. Okay, okay. Hello. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over from me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everyone is doing their darnest to forget. Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it was today? Hammer. 
It's all due to Hammond. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe sh we should keep a safe distance? <laughs> Talk. Oh, there we go. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. She looks angry. Who, Todd? Who did you hear that from? I, uh huh. Nick chose. Nick, Nick, Nichols? Nick, Nick, Nichol, Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to. Oh, right. Anyways, we heard about the accident. It was during the filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? But whippersnappers. Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And then recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. N no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish. Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume? Hmm? I do have proof. Yes, I have proof. I'm oh, sorry, Miss Goldback, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. This one... Mr. Powers ate a tea bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, well, yes. So? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of, a, of sleeping pill powder on that plate. Hmm? Ha! I bet Powers put it, it in there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. There we go. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. Oh no. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Opa? Okay. You win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag, you're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vask. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh. But wait a second. Oh, you feel kind of bad for her now? Same. I feel a bit bad now. This is the picture. It, is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But how did you get this? Hmm? Whoa, even more European. Holy hell. Spanish name, French sounding, and Italian. <laughs> Ayo. It, it was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five years old photo added to the court record. Whoa. Time to move to the other side. Okay. Oh. Think back, Nick. To the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer, put on the steel samurai costume. Hydrate? Okay. Drown? No. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> yeah, let me hydrate. Okay. Um. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Okay, let's move to studio 2. Oh, hello. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Mask. Hello? H hello? Ha-l-l-lo? Maya, 
You should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um. Show her the picture, I guess. <clears throat> oh, bitch. She's not even looking. Where? What? What? Where did you get that? I will. Old bag. Uh oh. She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Fask, we hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. You came. Well then. What was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vask. You were using the accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went south of its own accord. But, but, you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What is this all about? You kept saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? Can't wait for another plot twist. Oh god. <laughs> no. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. What, where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. Would he ha have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo to the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand. She did. Gave him a few bruises too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? what? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh no. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a bad feeling about this. Um. Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? what? The trial is tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vask care about it at all? I'm sure you have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hold it right there. I heard everything, pal. Be Vask. Go and shoot to the rescue. Yeah. You're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, it's past 12. I'll finish this, I think. Yes, I'll finish this. Hey. You okay, pal? Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. It's okay. You did a good job, Gumshi. Yeah. Holy revive, Mirai. You're back from the grave. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Detective Gumshi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was really scared. 
Oh, I'm scared too. Scared. Can we scared? Mm. Huh? Do you mention the pal? I'm just doing my job. Mm. Detective Gumshu. While you were away, can we bully the kid? No, I did not. Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Mm. Die again? Eh, what? <laughs> okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Oh? What's happening? Well, Nick. It looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? <laughs> the Vask. Think probably... Okay. Before we do the actual trial, I'm gonna make a prediction. From what I know so far... Okay, save and progress, yes. I'll do the prediction. Okay. I'm gonna try and guess. Um, I think... What possibly happened is, um... Probably... Probably Hammer, um... Well, he dropped, um powers to get the costume and then walked to studio 2 because he was because he was probably fed up with all the blackmailing and he wanted to um kill the Vask and pin the murder on on um what's the quote pin the murder on powers that's why he has this costume but then but then but then probably the same thing from five years ago happened Cause that would explain the the spirit, right? Like the hole. And then mm, I'm just guessing here, but so they died in the studio too, and then after they somehow carried it. There was a van, right? There was a van, and the other guy, the director, what was it the director? Was also there. They probably he probably helped her. He does do everything she says, right? Put at the back of the van, drove over to Studio One, and then set everything up beforehand. Probably. Hmm. Okay. That's my that's my theory. But we shall see how close I am. <laughs> okay. Ring saw we did it. Case closed. <laughs> Are you okay? Foreshadowed his own death. Law. <laughs> it will seem so. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Woolpass. Okay, before I do this, I, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> I'll be back. I need to go to the toilet. BRB. <laughs> I'm back. What? <laughs> Pee time. Toilet time, yes. <gasps> drown time? What? <laughs> I just went to the toilet you drowned me. Sad. Okay. Uh, how drown her when she's in toilet? She'll see when she's back. Indeed. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so evil. So evil. How could you? You're supposed to guard me. <laughs> So evil you like, you love it. I see, I see. Water is good for the body. 
Is that why it showed up? It showed up with a 1.5 liter bottle. <laughs> Last time when we met, <laughs> that drinking ASMR at some point. <laughs> think, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, that the cost of of my bladder. <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? I will never forget. <laughs> okay. The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Simply, your voice is an ASMR. <laughs> Thank you. I love your accent so freaking much. Oh, <laughs> I think my accent is pretty strong. I have a pretty strong accent. Yeah, you can probably you probably know what type of accent it is, right? Right? Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. <laughs> hmm? It is strong and that's what you love about it. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that you like it. Pretty strong? Yeah, it's pretty strong. <laughs> I've had people tell me like, you don't sound, you don't sound Asian at all. A Chinese slash British accent. <laughs> Your Russian accent is so much worse. Ah, I see, I see, I know. It's like, my accent is like, I don't sound Asian at all. I don't have a Chinese accent at all. <laughs> you, ba you are back and bought a bazooka to shoot Rocky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down, Mirai. Calm down, please. Mm. Okay. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a theory for this case. He claims that the scene was the crime was in fact Studio 2. Lamal, what is an Asian what does an Asian sound like? I have no idea. I my accent is so like whitewashed that it doesn't sound Asian at all. Ah uh, I'll stand still so you don't have to aim. Wait. <laughs> You're still using bazooka? No 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 murder. No murder. No murder in chat, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Hum, hum, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> hmm? Not a bazooka, actually. Banana zuka? Banana. <laughs> Humma humma indeed. <laughs> humma humma. It's a bazooka with a minion inside. <laughs> banana. <laughs> you know what I think of minions? Just banana. Banana. <laughs> okay. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. The prosecution calls Ms. Devask to the stand. Ms. Devask was a produce is a producer who was present in the studio too that day. The bazooka report is outdated, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? Devask, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must... If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Murph. <laughs> Very well, Miss Vask. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> the day of the murder. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. Wording, Phoenix. Wording, indeed. <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, notice for the bleed. Are you? Nice bleed. Are you okay, Mirai? Are you okay? <laughs> the meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Phoenix right, naughty boy. Quite fast to jump the gun there, indeed. <laughs> you mean waterfall? <laughs> okay. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. 
when we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate tea burnt steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammond's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm... I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. Oh. I, I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination? Phoenix Wright, the Samurai Spear. Phoenix, the spear. What could be the symbolism? I wonder. Kiara? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is the final battle. Nick, let's do it. Um. <clears throat> I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon? Okay. You love game grumps so much? I <laughs> see. Um, one of them didn't have a bone, right? If I remember correctly, at the at the scene, the plate didn't have a bone, right? <clears throat> ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. Well, what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you that it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Basque and Miss Vanilla, uh, Mr. Manila, at a table. <gasps> My pronunciation! Okay. Miss Vasque and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yeah, there was no tea bone, I remember. Yet there was no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. At a table? <laughs> no, no way. No way. No way. It's sad though. Miss Vasque? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't... <laughs> you ate the bone too. <laughs> <clears throat> you didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. I... I see. That's a special bone. <laughs> oh, hello, Phoenix. Hello, one yellow Phoenix. Then what was Miss Vask doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Uh, meeting. Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Phoenix on. <laughs> Order. Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vask left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the steel samurai. And then you did it. Huh? Yellow Phoenix isn't joining Moonstream? What? You killed him with your own hands. Oh well? Oh well? Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? Objection! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today will be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits. You and I. Any day, Vask. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. 
How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? She couldn't. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. <gasps> what? She uses sexism to her advantage, crap. <laughs> Indeed. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the summer spear was not used as the murder weapon. Um... Well, it was broken, right? I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the money action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? <clears throat> oh, order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I am the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> Ayo, are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai sphere was not the murder weapon, then pray, tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Oh, you don't sass it. <laughs> hey, you? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what how a weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can. It was the fence, right? Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. <laughs> hey, Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Hey, Choo Choo, answer me or I cook you into fried chicken. What? What is happening? <laughs> uh. Look at this photo. Yes, it has to be this. But what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Fried chicken, I hear? <laughs> order, order. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a closed kept secret at the studios. Hmm? Nothing happened and it just say sus. Okay, okay. What does this have to do with the current case? Among us? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? You have a craving now? <laughs> fried chicken is really good. Especially Korean fried chicken is really good. <laughs> what, what are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? <clears throat> Has happened again! <gasps> Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30pm on the day of the murder. Miss Devask meets Jackhammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. KFC! Yeah, KFC. But I don't like like the fast food KFC. I like the KFC, which stands for Korean Fried Chicken. Yeah, nom nom. Very nice. Very yummy. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. Metal Gear! 
I could use a man like you on my script writing stuff. <laughs> you deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have dispersed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes. From 2.30 to 2.45. Oh! I accidentally clicked out. <laughs> Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Homo homo indeed. Well, Mr. Wright? How could she have dealt with the body? Uh, she had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter. There was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright? Please show us how she carried the body. The van! This one's easy. Miss Basque, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Mm hmm Has to be this. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hold on, Mr. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course. Sal Manella had, has to have been a conspirator. <clears throat> the body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vask could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammers' blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Fast, this is getting spicy. Huh? How much do you have to hate your kid? What? This is getting spicy in content and food wise. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> to name them Salmon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Well, to be fair, the last name you can't really change, so it's just Manila, but then Sal Manila. Sal Manila! <laughs> I was talking about this earlier. Sal Manila! <laughs> Whoa, Miss Fask. Shall I continue? No need. We're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I, I win? What's happening? <laughs> the court is just silent like what? <laughs> um, so what happens next? Hmm? Don't hmm me? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I, I lost Some something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean? They've asked, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. There's silence. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> um, who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order. 
Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, mm. uh... Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Eric, what do I do now? Well... Testify again? <clears throat> I'd, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions. Get the same answer. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. To come so far only to fail. Oh no. Oh no. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Fask. No! 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 Objection! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I, I see. Very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in Miss in making Miss Vask repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Edgeworth being a burr. Yeah! Saving our skin. Mm, well, yes, um. Indeed. Verily, I say. Very good. Chadworth. <laughs> I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. <laughs> Nick. Why didn't Edgeworth? Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that says he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. Okay. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hum. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. Something's weird, by the way. <laughs> she may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. There's something I'm actually really c confused about in her testimony. Yes, yeah, it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Yep. Yep. This. This is weird. The script and your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It, it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Press harder. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. How do you know there was a murder? Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> that was a weird reasoning. <laughs> Very well, Miss Fask, please continue. Objection. <clears throat> Your Honor. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Fask said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. That's true. 
Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, what, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. Let's go, Chadworth, Chadworth, Chadworth. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Thank you for the assist, Edgeworth. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasque, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. I really, really like Edgeworth's development as a character. It's just so satisfying. It's pretty nice, yeah. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. Like over the course of the series? Ah, I see, I see. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. What? Oh, it gets so much better? Spin-off just build upon this concept. Oh, I guess I'll find out later. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Hammer's injured? <laughs> Hammer's injured now? Isn't it? Isn't it powers? Question one. <laughs> um. <laughs> Lol. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Powers injured. Oh, back says Powers is injured. <laughs> Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But well, that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer's who was injured? Oh! <gasps> I already said it, it was Sal who told me. Th that's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manila was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Mr. Vask, Miss Vask. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manila. You saw Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes. What? Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Mask, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. <gasps> we're getting close, we're getting close. I'm getting close to sleep as well. <laughs> order, order. I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Um. <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vask. Very well. I have a question for you. Erk. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to the court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she has she had she had a motive? Okay. I have proof and I'll show it to you. 
I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasque's motive in this murder. Is this thing? Probably. This is my proof. Mm. By the way, cool thing, if you fail now, they'll declare Powers guilty. Even though literally any candidate fits better than him. I I know. <laughs> I know. <gasps> I mean like that makes sense, right? This trial is the defendant is powerless, so if you fail now, then Powers will be guilty. That's how it works. <laughs> My proof. This is the photo from before. California is weird. <laughs> Japanifornia is weird. <laughs> this photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Fask? Hmm. <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hamill was at the height of his fame. With the Vasque's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. This should be a different trial as the normal procedure if another person is suspected and powers innocent because he has no relation. I know, I know. But no, Japanifornia says you declare a witness guilty or it doesn't count. Oh, usually a trial goes until one is proven innocent, but no, Japanifornia says you declare a witness guilty or it doesn't count, I see. I see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, the accident precipitated, precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighted him down, no doubt. However, you, the Vasp, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammond's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the ex star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if. as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed Divask, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vask have? Yet yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright? Please explain Miss Vax's motive for murder. Um uh. Okay. Oh, hydrate. Give me a sec. Hello, Hiroshi. <laughs> Let me hydrate and then I'll continue. Okay. Allow me to present to the court evidence proving Miss Vax. Miss Va Vax motive. Burp. Gulp. <laughs> um eh? it's only this this is my proof and this tells us why eh? oh no oh no <laughs> no no, I got it wrong. Okay, best ASMR. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, motive for her. She had no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blind. All Miss Quas did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Fask. This this one is quite simple. She had none. <laughs> what what? What what? <clears throat> Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powell's with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was powers. 
Oh, so there is. Oh, so yeah, there's not really a self defense law in Japan. Oh, I see. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill Divask, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Oh. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. Drunk lady, indeed. It was me. She is a member of the Mafia, I guess. Or like, she has ties to it. Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vask. What, what? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Miss Vask, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel. Manuel. D don't touch him. Miss Vask. No. Please, please don't die. To be honest, you don't get the point of small pointy fence. It's metal fence. It's the aesthetic. It's well aesthetic. Please. Hmm. Seem to invite more problem than good. <laughs> Well, aesthetics, right? <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Are we done? Mr. Edgeworth, where's Duvask? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Is it good to go back? Okay, bye bye, Nautilus. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found, so it's only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you are right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. <gasps> not guilty! Yee! Yeah! What? What? That is all. This court is adjourned. Hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We did a good job today. Hell yeah. Okay. No such thing as a miracle in the courtroom. Very inspiring. <laughs> Indeed. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vask, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? So tell me, why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Um... Mm. I, I don't know. I, uh, hold on, let me see. <laughs> Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. He deserves to know. Steel Samurai book. I think it's this. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in the kids' show, and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh, he <laughs> he. Thanks, he. I'll be able to don the steel samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and. Oh, hmm. Is is something wrong? 
I think it's good he's missing the point. Haha, <laughs> that's I think so. He's, he's a bit too innocent for this. No, no. Oh, of course not. Ah. Nick. Edgeworth. Oh, hello. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um. That was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't, wait any, you don't waste any time gloating, do you? N no, I, I really want to thank you. Vask would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Sniff. <laughs> no, I mean he would have died through something sharp. I guess. I guess so. Ah, <laughs> uh, er, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. <laughs> oh, he's a fanboy? Did not expect that, I gotta say. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after s all these years. Meet again? What? However, in retrospect, it would have it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Hold on. <laughs> unnecessary feelings? Yeah, feelings. <laughs> Why is A Saturni turning into a BL? <laughs> Here it comes, best ship moment. What is happening? What? <laughs> Wait, why is that? Edgeworth? Edgeworth? Oh boy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, Rox, I know that you're also saddled with unnecessary feelings towards Frost. I understand, I guess. You know, in a sense, I understand. You understand as well, right? Rocks? Frost? Right? <laughs> I'm sure you understand his point of view. Okay, now I keep going. <laughs> no, Rock. <laughs> oh, whoa? Oh? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I got you now. Call you red handed. <laughs> Frost is like, what? <laughs> You're oblivious. You are so oblivious to rocks. Ayo, Rox's feelings. <laughs> Unease and uncertainty? Aren't those kind of necessary? Uh, aren't those kind of unnecessary? Those only to serve to get in my way, I see. <gasps> unnecessary feelings, question mark? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? Oh, I see. <laughs> they only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. You memorized it up to the dot, I see. <laughs> you love this game so much? I can see why, it's very fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. Oh my god, they're breaking up so sad. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Nautilus, we still have rocks and frost. They're not breaking up anytime soon, right? Right? <laughs> They're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? <laughs> For now, we are, I guess. Huh? No? Push him up. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? <laughs> Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? <gasps> hmm? I guess they'll get... Back to be pal couple soon. Enough, I, I see. <laughs> and so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing the accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. <laughs> oh, wait, this is Pink Princess? <laughs> Why? We are actually a couple of mine. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? They actually didn't. <gasps> I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. Neither did I, Phoenix. Neither did I. <laughs> you have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that existent. Fine, fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Hmm? Maya, he made it while fantasizing weird things about you. What? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. 
I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. <laughs> I guess so. The end! Hell yeah. Okay, I can sleep now. <laughs> I can sleep now. Remember when Sal met Maya? I guess. Oh? 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 Sip. Yeah. Sip. Yes. Okay. We are done here. We are done. I I will go sleep. Nice. Ding. Oh. Oh, I remember now. I remember. He acted like a creep, began drooling, and went, Oh, I see it. Pink princess. <laughs> oh, I guess she's flattered. Question mark. I guess she's just flattered. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. We move to... We move to, um... Um, ending screen. Yes, yes. <clears throat> wow. That was a fun stream. <laughs> it was also pretty long, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Is anyone else doing... Mm. Oh. Oh, no one else is doing... Um... What you call that? Phoenix right at the moment. I mean, Ace Attorney. Yes, I'm just finding... Oh! Okay, I have found the one that I want to read. Okay. Okay. Good night, everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Scribbly Air and Gartic Fun, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Good night. Oyasumi. Oyasumi. Cry, why cry? Why cry? I'm going to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Oyasumi. Okay.